What is up everybody? If you're watching this video, you're probably considering selling a product on Amazon and you wanna know what it costs you. And you probably clicked here because you want a straightforward, easy explanation that's gonna take five minutes or less. So let me break this down in very simple terms. Selling on Amazon is comprised of three major fees. Now the first is your monthly seller fee with Amazon. Uh, you pay $40 a month to open a seller account. Now you do have the other option of paying a per unit fee of 99 cents, uh, but if you're gonna be selling more than 20, 30, or 40 units, it definitely makes sense to open that seller account at $40. Now the second fee is a referral fee, and on average this is about 15%, but it is a range between eight and 15%, uh, depending on what type of product you're selling. And so you can go ahead and use the Amazon FBA fee calculator to start understanding these fees and find a similar product to yours to kind of do some research in and plug in a few numbers. You will get a very good idea of what it is going to cost you if you use this tool. Now let's take a look at the Amazon FBA shipping fees. And this entirely depends on the weight of your product. I'm gonna drop a link down below uh, to a little bit more detailed explanation and a spreadsheet that can show you exactly how much it is gonna cost to ship your product through Amazon FBA based on the weight of that product. Uh, and essentially the weight ranges from small to large with a bunch of different subcategories within each size. And then there's also an overweight category and the cost to ship your item right now at a small item starts at $2.40 and then scales up the bigger your product is and the more that it weighs. Now let's take a look at the storage fees to keep our units in an Amazon warehouse once we have shipped them over to Amazon. And these start out at 69 cents per cubic foot per month. Um, for units that are sh that are stored at Amazon between January and September. And then during the holiday months, once it starts to get really busy, Amazon charges a premium on the storage and that fee goes up to $2.40 per cubic foot. And so you gotta do a little bit of math to find out how many cubic feet uh, your item is. And so you can do that by uh, taking the product dimension. So let's say it's 10 inches by eight inches by four inches. You multiply those out and that comes out to be uh, about 320 total inches and then you take that number 320 and divide it by 1728 and so once we do that we get a total of um, about 0.185 cubic feet and so that is the cubic feet of our item and we're going to take that number and so during the january and september months we're going to multiply that number by 0.69 to get a storage fee of about 13 cents per month during those uh during those seasons so if you wanna think about you know, when it's gonna be most expensive uh, to keep your item in the warehouse, you might wanna do that math for during uh, December, from October to December to find out you know, if you're gonna to take a hit if you can't move items during that period of time. Now there's also a long-term storage fee if you're keeping your item in an Amazon warehouse for greater than 365 days. Uh, and this fee has changed in 2019, so I want you guys to pay attention here. Uh, and this is the fee that really keeps Amazon sellers up at night. You really don't wanna get caught keeping your inventory in the warehouse for too long because you can get hit with some big fees. And right now those fees are $6.90 per cubic foot of units in their warehouse. Um, but they also have a per unit fee of um, 15 cents per unit. So if your per cubic foot fee is less than that 15 cents per unit, then you're gonna have to go ahead and go with the 15 cent fee. Uh, but it's the greater between the two fees. So if your uh, per cubic foot uh, fee adds up to greater than 15 cents, then you always go with that fee and you're gonna, hit, you're gonna get hit by that. Uh, and so people really try and to avoid uh, these yearly long storage fee costs of selling with Amazon. And one of, these, one of the ways to do that is to remove all of your items from an Amazon warehouse. And this is kind of painful. It's essentially a fee that you should consider. If you have inventory shipped into Amazon, uh, the cost to basically ship those items back out, you get charged an FBA fee for shipping, but you are not charged the referral fee. And so essentially you can have all those items shipped back to you and just take the cost there and not incur that long-term storage fee with Amazon. Now, aside from all these fees, there are also closing fees, but closing fees are only applied to media items. So a lot of people are never gonna face uh, having closing fees on their items. And now that you've seen all the fees, you might be wondering why you would even wanna sell on Amazon. And honestly, that's a good question. Uh, but most people do it for the reason that almost everybody starts shopping on Amazon. Uh, back in the day, a lot of people started their search on Google, but now if you're looking to buy an item, you go straight to Amazon. So this is where most buyers are. And simply by listing your Amazon, listing your item on Amazon and doing it correctly with the right keywords, you now all of a sudden have access to a large group of buyers uh, that can buy your products and essentially uh, an automated stream of income, income if you set all of this up right. Uh, and know how to plug in the right elements and get your items to an Amazon warehouse in time.